What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. To today's video, we have some breaking Detroit Lions news. This is from Adam Schefter. The Lions are going to release tight end Jesse James. So let's get it started. Yo, I got a shout out, Dosa Dia, man, because it was actually the first time I went live on YouTube. And, uh, you know, guys don't know Dosa Dia, he put out a lot of good content for the Detroit Lions. Welcome everybody to the video. Glad you guys are here. And yes, we have some Detroit Lions breaking news. We got that late night news today, baby. That's what I like to see. I see you, Lions. Okay. All right. Late night news. Hey, we have one at 2 a.m. So until, until I get one like that, that's the record. That's the record. Nick Williams was signed at 2 in the morning, I think. Something like that. At least that's when I got the news. At least that's when I put the video up. Hopefully that's not when I put the I think that's from the news game. Either way, the Lions have announced they're going to be releasing Jesse James. Now, I got to give the credit to my guy in the comments. You know who you are. I read his comment. He said, hey, Jesse James could be next. I was reading that like, oh, maybe. You know, I'm, I'm kind of feeling Danny Shelton, but maybe. No, you were right. Congratulations. You got to correct. Jesse James has been cut by the Detroit Lions. Now, I'm not going to say I feel bad for Jesse James because Jesse James got his money. All right, this dude, he was on a $22.6 million deal for the Detroit Lions, and he only had 30 receptions in two seasons. When they signed Jesse James, it was a million dollars per catch. That's kind of the incentive that Jesse James came to Detroit with. So I don't feel bad for Jesse James, okay? You know, you still got your money, but I do feel bad that we weren't able to get maybe more production out of Jesse James. We signed him from Pittsburgh. Then we drafted Hawkinson. We're thinking, man, we got this dual tight end set. This is going to be dangerous. Fortunately, it was never that dangerous. Now, I wouldn't say he was a bad blocker. I think he was very helpful as a blocker, and that's very underrated. But we were paying him a lot of money to just not be involved enough in the passing game. I mean, if he was involved more in the passing game, I think it could have been fine. He just wasn't. I mean, unfortunately, he just wasn't. Uh, he was just kind of more of a blocking role. Like I said, 30 receptions in the last two seasons with the Detroit Lions. So they cut him. They had a void year, actually, in 2023. I really do think this was both better for both sides, though. To honestly, you kind of split ways and give Jesse James a, a chance to go play elsewhere and get an opportunity to be more involved. Because remember, after his first year, the thought was, oh, wow, that was a really rough year. He said it was the worst year of his career. He talked with Dar Daryl Bevel. They were going to try to get him more involved, but it just never happened. I mean, for whatever reason, he just never got more involved. And some of that has to do, you got a lot of weapons, but he just never got that involved. I mean, Hawkinson had the Pro Bowl season, and James was just kind of like had the same season again. So I'm sure James is maybe was a little frustrated. I believe this is probably a, a very good way for the Lions to kind of part ways. It gives Jesse James an opportunity to go elsewhere where he could probably get more involved, a team that can use him, and for us, it saves us some money because we need it so yeah i mean hey you know what i guess this one's not too surprised the lions actually won't save that much money from this cut if it's a normal cut they'll save about 2.1 million dollars if it's a post June first cut they could save five million dollars uh but they're not going to save a ton from this and the reason again they would sprout the dead cap lions won't save a ton of money from this but they did uh sign hunter thedford to a futures contract alizé mack to a futures contract and they have hunter bryant the udfa that they signed last season so lions have depth at tight end i mean none of those guys guys are really as proven as Jesse James, but they have depth there. So there's really no need for it. So for the Lions to, to save any money that they possibly can make sense, wouldn't be surprised if this becomes the post and first cut, but they may not, you know, they might just take the 2.1 million and rock with it. And if they do take the 2.1, they'd be looking at about just over $10 million under the cap. So yeah, I mean, the Lions, hey, here the cuts come, right? Here comes the cuts. The Lions are starting to clear some cap up. And you know, again, this one, I can't say it's very surprising. It just thinks that we weren't able to get more out of Jesse James. I mean, at six foot seven, 261, it was like, man, this guy's going to eat because he did eat a little bit the Pittsburgh Steelers I mean the year before he got here he had 423 yards on 30 receptions the year before that he had 43 receptions for 372 yards with the Lions maybe it just wasn't a great scheme fit and honestly it probably wouldn't be a great scheme fit with Anthony Lynn if we brought in an offense coordinator that was like hey I'm going to use the heck out of two tight end sets you probably could have kept him right I think you could have and maybe you just get him more involved he just, but uh you know Anthony Lynn doesn't use two tight end sets that much either you know he doesn't get a second tight end super involved which we talked about in the Kyle Pitts video so Keeping him around probably wouldn't have made too much sense. You're going to get a chance to see if Hunter Bryant can take the next step next season. He's more of a receiving, not much of a blocking tight end. But like I said, you still have Hunter Thedford who can block. I mean, that's kind of all we know about him. Really never saw him catch the ball that much at Utah. Alizé Mack from Notre Dame, depending on if those guys, you know, make the team. But yes, Lions with a night-night cut. Thank you, Jesse James, for everything, man. I, look, I know you didn't get super involved, but I do think, you know, you still have a bright future somewhere else. I think someone can get some good stuff out of you because you have a lot of size. you got talent. You can block. I think someone's going to be really happy. It was just unfortunate that, you know, we, we didn't get the best out of you. We really just did it. I mean, this wasn't just the best fit. So, unfortunately, the signing wasn't the best, but the Lions are going to cut their losses. They're going to take the cut, and the Lions are going to save a little bit more money. So, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you, Brad, for watching, and I'm out.